How to make clean water if the world is dead, the rain glows green, and your veins feel crunchy. The taps are dry, the bottles are gone, and the rivers are glowing like they've been kissed by Chernobyl. The rain hisses when it hits your skin. Your throat feels like sandpaper dipped in bleach. You need water, or you're just another corpse in a soggy hoodie. Solution? Science trash alchemy. Turning poison rain into something drinkable. Start with a dented pot, rust optional. Scoop up that glowing puddle outside. Don't mind the frogs with three eyes. Heat it over a trash fire, because nothing says fine dining like fumes of burning plastic. Cover the pot with a bent piece of metal or a cracked lid. Then, and here's the genius, stretch a plastic sheet or trash bag over the top, weighted down with a rock. Watch the steam rise, hit the sheet, and drip into a container. Boom! Distilled! If you don't have plastic, use glass shards, a broken window, or the face shield from a dead riot cop. Just angle it so the drips slide into anything vaguely cup-shaped. Here's the dirty science. Steam leaves the heavy stuff behind. Radiation dust, toxic sludge, the rainbow shimmer of death, all stuck in the pot. The vapor condenses, giving you pure H2O. Technically pure. Mostly pure. Pure enough not to kill you immediately. Is it sterile? Depends. Did you cough blood before or after drinking? Now sip that hard-earned drip drop like it's champagne in the wasteland. Sure, it tastes like melted shopping cart, but it won't kill you as fast as glowing puddle juice. And when someone asks, where'd you get clean water? You can proudly say, from garbage science and a healthy fear of thirst. If it quenches your thirst, congrats! If it mutates you, congrats twice! You just became the new apex species. Science, turning poison into slightly less poison since forever.